Damn it. Son of a bitch still has Lily. And now I'm back to square one again. We've re-established contact with the Marker Agent Kidman. About time. Patch him through. Sebastian? Sebastian, are you there? Kidman. Finally. Are you all right? That psycho is still on the loose in here. I turned on the emitter, and that seemed to slow him down. But he got away. And he's got Lily. She must be so scared and alone. Oh. I've got to find her before he does something terrible to her. I'm so close. I can feel it. As much as you do, Sebastian. Yeah. Sure you do. Don't want your precious experiment to fail. It would be a real tragedy to waste all that time and money. I was speaking for myself, not Mobius. I spent a lot of time with Lily during testing. She's a good kid. I don't want her to suffer. I know things are bad, but I have faith in you. You've got to stay focused so we can save her. Together. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Thanks for the pep talk, Kidman. Don't worry about it. But right now you need to figure out where he took her. He said his name was Stefano. Stefano. Copy that. I'll see what I can find out and send it to your room. Okay. In the meantime, I'll check in with O'Neill. See if he can help me locate this psycho. Sounds like a plan. Let me know if I can be of any help. And... Sebastian? Yeah? Good luck. Thanks. Gotta figure out where he took her. Think I might have just figured it out. Not doing a very good job of hiding. It's almost as if he's taunting me. Fight he wants, he's gonna get it. I just have to find my way there. O'Neill, it's me. I see the stable field emitter is back online. Please tell me you found the core and you're on your way back here. Sorry, that lunatic still has her. But I think I have an idea of where he went. Yeah, I see it too. I'm picking up the signal again, but now it's coming from the theater in the other part of town. Right. Through the marrow again, I guess. May need a little guidance here. I'm on it. Looks like turning the emitter back on stabilized some passages there. Exit D5 looks to be the one closest to the theater. I'm not totally sure what you'll encounter down there, so watch your back. At this point, nothing would surprise me.
This must be the passage O'Neill was talking about. with my mind. this stuff.
stop and listen to yourself, Myra. A secret society abducted Lily and staged her death? Do you realize how crazy that sounds? But it's true. Why can't you understand that? I know it's hard to accept, Myra. But she's gone. Our little girl is gone. But I have proof. Look. Myra, you're obsessed. You need rest. Once you get past this, you'll learn to accept... No. I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. Myra. You were right all along. But... But why am I seeing this now? Maybe I can sneak past it. I gotta get the hell out of here.
I thought this place was supposed to be fucking stable. Looks like someone's enjoying the show. Someone's been watching. Lily. Whoever's been here was gathering data on her. Don't move. You're Mobius, right? I Shut up! <clears throat> Don't say a word! You're not one of us. No, I'm not. Kidman sent me. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? No. Who told you that? Turn around. Do it slow. You're Yukiko Hoffman. How do you know my name? I told you. They sent me in here to find my daughter Lily. The core. I'm telling you the truth. I know. You do? Lack of microexpressions and deflection. No verbal parroting. I've seen enough to know you're telling the truth. Right. The team psychologist. I have to use whatever tools I have to survive. Combat isn't my forte. Seems to be a running theme here. Sorry for pointing my gun at you. So they're sending independent contractors now? That means things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? I have, but the only one I've found alive is O'Neill. Liam is alive? Good. Has he made any progress on stabilization? The big emitter's back on, but this place is still falling apart, and I think it's all because of this psycho that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in Union, and can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. 
This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms. But in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. A psychopathic personality type using Lily to amplify his power. This is the worst possible situation. You're a shrink. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. But their main commonality is their pathologic egocentricity. They don't care about people, only themselves. Can you think of anything that would be important to him? Yeah. He thinks he's some sort of artist. It's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off of his guard. I'll keep that in mind. But I've got to get to him first. He's holed himself up in the theater. Right. So exit D5 then. It's right here. Just in the next room. Let's pair our communicators so that we can stay in touch. I'll review my files and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless, he's probably going to be difficult to fight. Feel free to help yourself to anything here you might need. So does Lily really think I'm dead? Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you, but she does. I thought it was the truth, too, until just now. But over the years, I've learned to take everything Mobius tells me with a pinch of salt. It wasn't difficult to see you were telling the truth. Why would they do that? What kind of monsters do you work for? I know it's not right. But consider this. Lily is probably less traumatized by thinking you're dead than by thinking you're alive, but she can't be with you. Yeah, maybe. But what will happen when I finally find her? Don't worry. She'll believe the evidence of her eyes once she sees you. If Mobius knew to keep psychopaths out of STEM, then how did one end up in here? I don't know. Every individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to placement. And we've been observing them from here, in secret, to keep an eye out for mental instability. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. Unfortunately, psychopathy and sociopathy are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly. Psychopaths tend to be cunning and highly intelligent. Aware of their own diagnosis, they're able to disguise themselves among us. The fact that this one was able to fool us, he's obviously adroit and self-aware. Oh. Great. So the tests only filtered out the weakest of psychos. I feel terribly responsible for all of this. I helped devise those tests. You said you think there's something more to this? I studied the Beacon incident extensively so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case, the person in question was the core. But even then, the environment remained relatively intact. Something just doesn't seem right here. What do you mean? The creatures in here. The dissolution of Union. The total breakdown in communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person. Even with the power of the core. He mentioned someone before. Another person who wanted the core's power. That could mean... No. It's too horrible to contemplate. What? There's only one thing that could be more powerful than a psychopath in here. But I need to do some research before I can commit to the theory.
Pick up, Kidman. I'm here. The first time I saw Myra, she was wearing that uniform. I think I fell in love with her right then and there. I didn't want to admit it to myself. But after she was injured on duty, I knew I couldn't risk not telling her how I felt. She was such a great wife and mother that I sometimes forget she was a great detective, too. She was right. She knew there was something fishy about Lily's death. I, I mean, kidnapping. I should have believed her from the start. There's no way you could have predicted the truth, Sebastian. You know this. Kidman, you there? Always. You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn machine didn't go on the fritz. I would have spent the rest of my life mourning her and you wouldn't have cared. I cared, but I couldn't say anything. They would have killed me. I'm not sure I believe you. Why would I lie about that? To manipulate me. To get me to perform like a good little soldier. You've lied to me before. Our whole friendship was built on a lie. Okay, I get it. And I don't blame you for feeling that way. You'll never know how I feel until you've lost your family. I never had a family to lose. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to have loved and lost? Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you had people who cared about you. Point taken. Thanks, Kitty. You look like you could use some help, Detective. There's nothing wrong with being cautious, but you can't avoid fighting forever. Maybe you should think about adding some combat skills.
The theater. I'm coming for you.
It's me from back then. Something was up with that mirror. Something I should be looking for? What was that all about? Was that all a dream?
Sounds like someone's in trouble. There's a key, there's a lock. Wonder where it could be.
more of them! They're coming from over there! Just saved my ass. I didn't think anyone would come. You're from the search team. How did you end up here? I was looking for something. And what would that be? Look, it's dangerous out here. Come to my safe house so we can talk. Lead the way. Come on. Come on in. They can't get in here. Thanks again for helping me out. I'm Sykes. Sebastian Castellanos. Castellanos, huh? I've heard of you. You survived the Beacon incident, right? How do you know that? I'm a STEM programmer, but I've got other skills too. Like hacking information systems. Things that nobody else knows. Not even other members of the team. Then you know who Lily is. Yeah. We're all trying to find her. Haven't had any luck though. That's why you're here, huh? That's right. But if you can't help me with that, then we've got nothing else to discuss. Good luck. Hey, hold on. We might still be able to help each other out. This better be good. Look, there's a bunch of stuff in here that you could probably use. Now you can have it for saving me out there. You want to hear my proposal? Come on back to me. All right, I'm all ears. How can we help each other? I need you to restore the server inside the mirror. It should be easy enough, as long as none of those freaks are around. Here's where it's located. Hold on, I haven't agreed to anything yet. What's in it for me? You do that for me? I can open up all the locked supply caches for you. And what's in it for you? If you get the server on, 
I may be able to find another way out of Union. There's really a way to get out of Union? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure as hell gonna give it a try. They've lost contact with STEM. We're totally cut off. If we don't find the core, we're all gonna die in here. Unless I can figure a way out. How is that possible? You really want me to waste your time talking a bunch of technical gibberish? All I have to do is turn it on? How did the server go offline in the first place? All I'm saying is if you turn on that server, I can give it a shot. Look at this place. It's breaking apart out there. I'm surprised anything is working. But then again, Mobius probably turned it off themselves. They've got all kinds of emergency protocols in place. And you're questioning the almighty Mobius? Hey, I don't mind being a grunt. But the moment I become expendable, well, that's when I start to look for the exit door. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. So, you gonna help me out or not? Cup's disgusting. Only one I've got, man.
Seems like that worked. Guess I should go back to Sykes. It's me, Kidman. Good to know you're still there, Sebastian. After Beacon, I tried to make some sense of what happened to me. But everyone said I was delusional. Or hiding the truth. I started to believe that maybe they were right. That maybe I was crazy. I felt so frustrated. Useless. Drinking was the only thing that killed the pain. So much time wasted. I could have tried harder. Shit. Don't beat yourself up, Sebastian. When Mobius doesn't want to be found... Don't make excuses for me, Kidman. I fucked up. Look, Sebastian, this isn't the time to dwell on the past. This is the time to make up for it. Self-pity is what led you to drink in the first place. You have a chance to get back what you lost. Don't lose sight of that. Harsh. But true. You're right, Kidman. Thanks.
You look like you could use some help, detective. There's nothing wrong with being cautious, but you can't avoid fighting forever. Maybe you should think about adding some combat skills. Yeah, that's more like it. Shit! 